Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and this is Transport Fever, the One Hub Let's Play Speed Build series, the very first edition in this exciting new year of 2019. And we're just sat here over the uh, Old Jetto Monument Valley, which is... Oh, there's an aeroplane! Go! Fly, baby! Yes, sorry. <laughs> Things happen, I get distracted, you know how it is. Um, yeah, so we're in our hub city, Old Jetto Monument Valley. And uh, well, we're just waiting for things to happen, really. Well, there's the local connecting train in, one of those that connects it to uh, the hub station, the central station, which is mostly underground. Well, in fact, it's almost entirely underground, apart from one track. So it's not the most exciting of views of our fabulous city. Uh, although, uh, I just love this, this exit entrance. Oh, look, at three trains at once. I <laughs> just love it when things happen. Um, now those are quite old trains in terms of the locomotive. The passenger wagons are still kind of current, but the locos are getting a bit long in the tooth now. And in fact, uh, we have skipped on about two years more or less since you were last with me, which is slightly longer than usual, largely because there was a fair amount of maintenance uh, I wanted to do. Uh, before we got into the, the guts of uh, the new episodes. Um, so I've been replacing a number of uh, old road vehicles, um, just rejigging a couple of the lines, particularly some of the internal um, freight distribution lines within each city, um, and also some of the local bus routes. And also uh, revisiting and upgrading and replacing some, some of our old diesel trains, um, like, for example this one here on Promise Rock. So let's go and have a look at him, shall we? So we've got some fabulous new locos. Uh, which one's this? Uh, the EMD SD45. Uh, again, the, the actual <laughs> company branding and stuff is kind of um, off kilter, but we're not going to worry too much about that. Uh, what's another one I've upgraded? Um, oh, the now the thing about these uh, these replacements uh, that I've used is most of them are actually a little bit slower, um, sort of seventy miles an hour rather than the hundred and something that they were used to. Uh, so, uh, so that may or may not reduce the profit. Um, I have increased the freight capacity on a number of them, which hopefully should make up for that. Um, but they were getting very expensive. Um, and the freight, uh, if we actually turn this back on, it's getting a little bit unbalanced here. Oh, that looks better in the two years since we've been running. Uh, yeah, the, the main freight distribution route from Freight Hub, uh, the, 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 the old Jetto Freight Hub there, to our main kind of distribution network uh, over here. Let's guess, get it into view. Um, was getting a little unbalanced. Now, I wasn't making as much money out of the like of uh, Freight Hub 1 um, as I was used to. Let's bring you into view. Come on, there you go. Yeah, sort of tailed off a little bit. I mean, Freight does tend to balance and rebalance. It does tend to keep itself in good order over time, um, depending on how sort of um, demand fluctuates and supply fluctuates between the various cities. So I've done a fair amount of that. Uh, again, all these sort of modded locos will be identified in the description. And of course, they're all part of my Steam collection. Links for which will be in the description below. Um, the other thing to, to know uh, on the uh, finances, we have uh, made, oh dear, let me just pause this for a second. <laughs> uh, Road Vehicle 59, who the heck, oh, another one of these old, yeah, one of these old routes, and I don't want finances. 19 odd years, how well are you doing? Yeah, reasonably well actually, for, for a sort of a, a road route, that's not too bad. Um, I have got issues about that whole distribution of freight to Old Jetto Monument Valley itself, but we'll discuss those perhaps in more detail um, in an upcoming episode. I will deal with that one. Uh, let's get you just slightly out of the way. There we go. Um, yeah, so I have been spending, as you can see here, where's the new vehicles? Uh, 53 million, 86 million, and last year, 217 million in replacing uh, a number of these uh, these trains on various, particularly freight routes. So profit has dipped somewhat. It was down from 83 million in 70 to under 15 million in 1971. And in fact, we made a loss in 1972. 
but yeah, the, the actual income is still pretty good. Uh, 1971 was a bit of a dip, uh, but we're certainly getting back onto track uh, in 72 and hopefully in 73. Okay, so I'm not going to faff around for much too long. Oh, uh, one other thing I want to just show off. Um, we don't discuss this very much because it's kind of the, the sort of end goal of this whole series. The, the conceit, if you were with me from the beginning, and I've occasionally mentioned it uh, in, in ev ev a few videos at least, is to make one big city, uh, and I've chosen Old Jetto Monument Valley here, try and make that city enormous. Um, a city of 10,000 uh, people, of citizens or residents, if you will. Um, <laughs> it was suggested 100,000. Um, I think that's possible, but it's certainly not going to happen in my game. I, I think you probably need to jig, just fiddle with some of the, uh, the settings to, to achieve that. If you know any different, by all means, do let me know in the comments box below. Now, we're currently standing at a population uh, of over... 3,600 in Old Jetto Monument Valley, but what I wanted to show off, um, because uh, where, where am I going? I'm going here. <laughs> Into the t oh, no, it's not there. It's on the on the budget. Sorry. Um, yeah, we do have quite a few towns which have got over a thousand. We've got another one over 2,000. Monument Valley uh, itself. Uh, it's here. For the whole map, we have now over 30,000 residents which is pretty impressive. Um, and you may have noticed, particularly if you're watching the town tour uh, videos, which I, I, I create every 10 years in, in game time, or if you're sort of watching the follow along videos I do, sorry, the follow on segments that I, I often add to the end of the, these videos, um, the game is starting to stutter a little bit, a little bit of juddering as my frames per second uh, drops away to, uh, to single figures at times, to be honest. Uh, largely because I think there are so many people in the map that it's got to keep track of. Um, so I think we're unlikely to ever reach 100,000. I'm hoping we can get to 10,000 um, before the game becomes uh, unplayable, but we shall see. But certainly in terms of the map, I'm pretty happy with our, with our hit rate there, with our success there. Okay, so what are we doing today? Um, I mentioned this, this, I think, in the last episode. We're uh, going to tackle some passenger routes. I'm going to see if I can lay in a passenger line up here to Kayenta, which is the last city. Uh, it's the only city without uh, a train route. It does have airports, and that's, that's quite profitable, actually, if we just take a quick check off that. Yeah, look at that. Over three million for, for several years. <laughs> that's very profitable indeed. So I'm going to see if we can lay a train line in there. Hopefully that won't take too much away. <laughs> Um, from the airport. The other thing I'm going to do is the first of a multi-city loop. Now I think we're going to do it somewhere around here because as you can see there's lots of AI car traffic traveling between these cities and that does tend to clog up uh, the inner cities uh, for my own uh, public transport, my buses or my trams in some cities. So I want to alleviate that and have a many in into town bus routes I have like this one here going from Central Mesa to uh, Monument Valley uh, it doesn't have as much of an impact as I'd like uh, on the uh, on this AI traffic perhaps if I put more buses on it might but I think the, the best solution will be to actually put in a local uh, small commuter uh, train line between some of these cities so we're gonna have a crack at that today and I know, because I've done a little bit of tinkering, that might take a little bit of time. So uh, I will get straight on with that. So once again, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Um, and uh, well, let's just get the game going, shall we? There we go. We'll sit here and, uh, and watch it happen. Um, so thank you again very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, by all means, please leave a like. Or even better, if you've got anything to say, suggestions, recommendations, criticisms even, uh, just drop a note into the comments box below. It'd be great to hear from you. And of course, if you've not done so already, why not subscribe to, uh, to the channel? And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever, I will see you again soon. Enjoy this rest of this video. And uh, until next time, bye bye for now.
Thank you.